Well, from the mind behind Big Little Lies comes the next binge-worthy drama, Apples Never Fall. Sam Neill stars as Stan, a former tennis coach and patriarch of the seemingly perfect Delaney family. But all is not as it seems as dark secrets start to emerge and tensions flare. Watch this. Who's Harry? Um, um, <clears throat> Harry Haddad. He was one of our students. Oh my God, the Harry Haddad, like from from the watch commercials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. What was he like? A suck up. He was a bit a aggro. Cheater. He was none of, of those things. He was a once in a lifetime talent. Who fired you? Do you have to say everything that pops into I'm your head? I'm just saying. No wonder Dad lost it at Wimbledon. I didn't lose it. Oh, and Sam's with me now. Welcome, Sam. Good to have you here. Listen, I told you when I sat down, I love this show. This is going to be my new favorite show. I can't wait to binge the rest of it. But it's based on the book. Um, and I'm just curious, was the script as much of a page turner as the book was? Had you read the book before? I think that was the main reason. No, I hadn't read the book. I, I read the script first. And, and I wanted to read the next script. And that's the acid test, really. It, because when people watch this, I think they're going to want... Yeah, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stay up a little bit later and watch yes. the next episode because it's a very intriguing mystery right in the, right the centre of this. Yeah, right from the get-go, too. And, yeah. and you play um, this alpha male character. He's this kind of strong tennis coach. He's got a little mystery to him. What drew you to this character? Well, certainly not the alpha thing. That's, <laughs> that's the absolute opposite of, of myself, I think. And whatever the opposite of an alpha male is, I think is that's you? me. <laughs> but that's acting, you know. And, uh, you know, it, he is that kind of dominant male. I can't stand those people. Yeah. Um, but but he, he's also complex. And, yeah. Uh, and I, I felt kind of sorry for him, and he's kind of funny, too. So... Yeah, there were a lot of things that, um, that drew me to the character. Yeah. But most of all, it was working with Annette Bening. I yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that's got to be an immediate, absolutely, yeah. I'm signing up for this. Who doesn't love Annette Bening? But, and I heard the whole cast took tennis lessons. Yes, that was necessary, because the whole thing is, it, it's a tennis-playing family, and Stan has brought up his, 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 his kids to be dominant at tennis as yeah. well, and they all kind of fail him a bit. So <laughs> um, it was important that I that I'm, I was really good at tennis. And, so, yeah. and, and it, it doesn't come naturally to me, I have to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't come naturally to me either. No, it? well, I, I had a lot of help, <laughs> uh, including Sam Stoser, actually, who, who won the, the US Open, I think, oh, wow. in 11. He I helped you play? So it's she. Oh, uh, she did. Oh, yeah, yeah. So another Sam, but a female Sam. Yeah. And, and um, uh, she was enormously helpful. Yeah, we... we um, we gave it our best shot, and, <laughs> and, and I think we got away with it. Yeah, you sure did. And so the marriage on screen with Annette Benning, it's complex, it's layered. I mean, I have to imagine that was fun just building that with her. Yeah, she's such a warm and, and funny person that um, I liked her immediately, and, and um, I, you know, we had a really good partnership. It was, it was a lot of fun. Being with her. Yeah, I heard that you loved her so much that you actually named one of your piglets after her on, back on your farm in New Zealand. Yeah, it, look, in all fairness, it's a very pretty pig. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a black and white spotty pig. And, what was um, her reaction? She was, uh, she was pleased to be a pig, and, and uh, you know, it, it, it's an honor in its own way. Yes, it's an honor. You, you have a history of naming your farm animals after celebrities. I mean, Meryl well, Streep. Well, not celebrities so much as friends. You okay. Know. They've got to be a friend. They've got to be a friend, and I hear there's an interesting reason why you do that. Well, you, you can't eat a friend. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And I'm, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, but, but also, <laughs> and just I, lay that down there for yeah, everybody to. I, you know. I had a ram called Jeff Goldblum. You wouldn't want to eat Jeff, would you? No, you would not want to eat Jeff. That'd be a quirky ram. It'd be unappetizing <laughs> for a start. Yes, but the animals on your farm are also part of your winery, which is yeah. uh, two paddocks. Is that what it's called? That's correct. Yeah. What do you love a bit about being a winemaker? I think. I think. Yeah, it's, it could not be more different from what I do yeah. at, at, in my day job. And we do everything organically. And all the cattle have to do is to produce manure, really. That's all part yeah. of the, you know, the organic process that, that we have. Yeah, and, and, I, and our motto is, uh, in the cheering up business, 
since 1993, and it's, I think that's a great thing about wine. Yeah, it yeah. cheers you up. It cheers you up. It's a beautiful thing times. to share with friends. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, all seven episodes of Apples Never Fall hit Peacock on March 14th, so be sure to check it out. Sam, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sarah. Yep.